I just hope they at least know that I went here, at least played on the team. <laughs> Hopefully they just remember me. <laughs> it's not likely that the Longhorns will forget about Steven Cervoni. He fired back-to-back -back rounds of 66 to help Texas win the 2019 Austin Regional by 20 strokes. And Cervoni will never forget that regional, as it was his first individual collegiate victory. I needed that. It was special to get one here at our home course with a lot of people supporting me. I think I was more confident than I I'd had been in my previous years. You know, it was a good learning experience as well, because now I know going forward what it takes to win. I think it was kind of a surreal moment because when you take a guy like him that's come so far in four years, he took all of his experiences and went out there and played golf one shot at a time. That's a cliche in golf, but that's really what he did and he did really well. We're really happy and proud of Steven. Cervoni has spent most of his collegiate career competing against some of the best golfers in the NCAA and that's just on any given day at practice. That was the reason he wanted to come to Texas. I wanted to get better. I felt that if I went somewhere where I was already one of the better players that I probably wouldn't have as much room to grow. And at Texas, I was going to be the bottom of the bottom at the totem pole. Coming out of high school, Steven recruited us. His success in junior golf and high school golf dictated that he was a kid kind of coming on and becoming a better player. Certainly somebody that you might want to give an opportunity to, and maybe if you had the right mix, surround him with some really fine players, like a Bo Hostler, like a Gavin Hall, Scotty Scheffler, Doug Gim. And if a guy is willing to learn, not only from his coaches, but the, the players around him, he's got a chance to be really good. And that's basically what has happened with Steven. It was a struggle. <laughs> I came from being a, a big fish in a small pond in Florida to coming here and just getting my butt handed to me every day. It's humbling. It's very, very humbling. And you just have to realize you, you just lose in golf. Golf's just a losing sport. So you just take each loss as a learning experience. There's no question that Steven has become a better player. His short game has gotten dramatically better than it was when he arrived. Nice. Really good. He has definitely enhanced his game, really in every aspect. He drives the ball really well now. His distance control is getting better and better with his irons. His wedges are better. Chipping, putting, all those things have been enhanced to where now he's very competitive in every golf tournament that he plays. Nice, nice work. Entering the 2019 NCAA Championship at the Blessings Golf Club in Fayetteville, Arkansas, Cervoni is the lone senior on the Longhorns team. I won't have that shock as maybe I had two years ago when I played in my first NCAA because it's a big stage and it can punch you in the gut if you, if you show up unprepared. So I, I think I, I'll just be more relaxed, more confident, more at ease, and I think I'll just be comfortable, which is huge in golf. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You hopefully play four rounds and get into match play, so there's a lot of golf out there. Regardless of the outcome of this year's championship, Cervoni will be enshrined in Texas golf history, so people will always know he played on the team. He's gonna be an All-American now because if you win a regional, you become an honorable mention All-American no matter what. And if you become an honorable mention All-American, you're gonna have a plaque up in our hallway and your picture's gonna go up alongside some of the great players that have played here, which is very special. So I'm happy for him. That, that is awesome. If you look at that wall, it's Scotty, Doug, Gavin, Bo. To be up on that wall like with Jordan, I mean, that's just, that's great. That's something that I, I set a goal to early on. It, it's taken me a while to get it, but that, that's huge for me. That, that puts a smile on my face.